Hang on, guys. I'm here. Oh, I forgot to hit the live button. You know me. Okay, guys. You guys should have me now. I forgot to hit the live button. I'm, I'm not the smartest when it comes to this computer stuff. I try. I've been here. I just forgot to... Um, there we go. Now you're live. Now you got me, guys. I forgot to hit the, um, oh shoot, I forgot to, um, hit the live button, sorry. Uh, hi Faith. Oh, I'm, okay guys, am I here? You still don't have me? Oh, come on guys, I'm right here. Some, go out and come back in again. Refresh your pages. I'm right here. Oh, good. You can see me, Fleur. Thank you. Good, 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 good. Refresh your pages. I'm here. Oh, good. I'm glad you like the quilt. That, um, Mary, is actually Sarah Stark. I've been here the whole time, you know, nummy me. I'm not always the smartest thing. Um, I forgot to hit the go live button. I've been here the whole time. Yeah. You don't have any sound? Um, Mary, to refresh your screen. That's all I know. Oh, good. Okay, I am here. Oh, perfect. Okay. Oh. I start to worry. Guys, hi, Mom. Mom, I have the worst time getting all this stuff figured out. I tried to do it right now. I was messing up. Yeah. Thank you, Lee. Okay. Everybody's got me. Mom's here. Gail's here. We haven't seen Lindsay yet, but I'm sure she'll pop on if she can. Oh, good. Can see and hear me. Hi, Kathy from Victoria, British Columbia. Wow, okay, Diane's got sound, perfect. Oh, loud and clear in the Netherlands? <laughs> That's exciting. It must be in the air because that's what I've been doing. What's up next to me? Oh, wait till I show you this. I'm so excited about this. You know, every once in a while, guys, you know I get one of those. Oh, Linz is here. I get one of those really wild streaks going. And um, when my fabric rep was here, I got a wild streak going. And that's what I bought. Wait till you see it. I thought I grabbed the pattern for it. I guess I didn't. Oh, boy, guys. You know, on the days that I try to be organized, I'm not. And on the days that I don't try to be organized, I am. I ought to just give up. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, we got everybody. My nose is just... This is going with this. I'll show you that one in a few minutes. Wow. I know. They are gorgeous. So this was one of the times that the fabric rep came in and I just went wild. And I did go wild. Good morning, Tiff. Um, so I gotta make a note of what I show what I'm showing you today so that I don't forget. Because this is when I tell you I'm doing stuff and I don't want to forget it. Okay, guys, I want everybody to say a great big huge gigantic thank you to my mother because my mother sweetly took home my man's shirt quilt and made a whole bunch of four patches for me so i've got a huge stack of four patches and look she even pressed them nicely i have a huge stack of four patches to go with my huge stack of half square triangles so we get to start putting this together very soon which i would absolutely love to do so i will be working on this again soon i think 
So mom did a whole stack of them for me and we're gonna work through those to get um, my men's shirt quilt done so that I can get that quilted. Look at, aren't they just adorable? I know, Kim, I was so, yes. Everybody, I was so happy. Mom came over and she said, what can I do to help you? And I'm like, oh, four patches. I need four patches. So she took those home and started working on those. Then I went, when was it? Last week, I think it was. I got to show you all the things I've been doing because I have to. Um, last week, let me double check. On the 17th, was no, on the 25th, I went to a class on... My Bernina, I have to tell you guys, if you guys have um, a rep from your sewing machine that lives close to you, you need to go in and see him as much as you can. I know when I bought my first machine, I think I didn't walk back into my sewing machine rep for a year. And it was probably one of the biggest mistakes I've ever made. Because... Those reps where you buy your sewing machine, they know all about those machines. And um, Oh, you guys are talking amongst yourselves. I saw the stuff and I'm like, huh? Okay, so anyhow, I went and I saw my Bernina dealer. You guys all know I have a Bernina 790 plus and I love my machine. But I went and I saw my Bernina rep. And I have to tell you, I don't think I'm going to miss going to see him every once in a while. Because, you know, he knows so much about my machine. And every single time I've taken a little class from him, I've learned something new. Every time I've stopped into his store, I've learned something new. So if you guys live in New York and you're any place close to me, Go see my Bernina dealer. He is wonderful. And I always learn something. So I went in and I took a class. Um, yeah, you always learn something new, Lindsay. I don't know, Kim. She might want another daughter. You never know. Good, Mary. I'm glad to hear that. I really am glad to hear that because you need to take a class for your machine all the time because it makes a difference. So when I was there, of course, I had to pick up a few things. So I gotta show you. I purposely left them in the bag since then so I could show you guys. I want to do a couple of different things. The, my class was on embroidery, so you know what that means. I had to buy all the stuff to go with it. The first thing I did was I bought these four quilt clips, and they're usually used when people do um, quilting on a domestic machine, like my Bernina 790 Plus. But actually, these come in really handy on a long arm, too. And I will leave these out for you, Lindsay, so that if you want to try them, you can. What they do is if you, there's a couple of different ways that you can long arm. You can float your top, which is, um, which is you don't base the entire quilt down, okay? The other thing that you can do is when, so what you do is you take these and you clip them along the bottom of the quilt, all right? And it is, they're just great because they kind of stabilize that base a little bit and it was wonderful. The class was on embroidery. It's the fabric we are working. I can't tell, but is that? No, Vicki, that's not um, the fabric back there. That This is a whole different line for an upcoming project. Springtime sampler fabrics over there, along with my blocks. Do you want me to bring my blocks over? I can. So I picked up these from John. Now this is from my Bernina dealer. I got this stuff. Hang on, I'll go grab my blocks so you guys can see them. Hang on, I'm getting them. Hang on, almost there. All right, here's my blocks. 
I'll even put them up. I'm gonna, I'll put them up even in order that I made them. Let's make sure you guys can see them though. Hang on. These are the first four blocks. So we did that one, then we did this one. These are kind of tough to put right next to one another because they match. They're the same pattern, just different fabrics. Can I do the next one and you'll still see them? Yes. Here's the next one. Hang on, I got one more to go up after this and then you'll see them. So these are the springtime sampler blocks. I don't think I can go beyond. Oh yes, I can and you'll see it. Perfect. So these are the blocks. I think it goes this way though. There they are, guys. Aren't they beautiful? I'm so excited. This one's my favorite so far. Um, they're hung up on um, what is Sarah Star, and Sarah Star was our very first block of the month. Suzanne said, my Bernina store is about an hour and a half away, but just a few blocks from my daughter. Oh, okay. They have great classes, guys. Oh, um, let's see. I've heard of those. They have them in my, on my, yeah. Um, anyway, is it painted on or can be purchased from Fort Worth Fabric Studio? And they have all the fabrics. Yes, there's two places. There's a place in Tennessee. And then I have also found a place here close, okay? I thought I saw the instructions for the fourth block, but I can't find them now. Okay, Kim. Um, the fourth block I am actually using my sewing machine for. So I have to... No, the video on the fourth one, I finished it. But I have to send it off to Bernina for her approval because I'm using some special things on my sewing machine. Okay? So... Um, the fourth block, as soon as Bernina approves the video, then that one will go up. But I got to get approval on it first, only because I use things in my, um, I'm using special features on my machine. Okay? So those are the quilts. Then I decided that the holidays are coming, so I needed to have some wash away stabilizer because I want to um, do some embroidered towels for Christmas. Um, let's see. Oh, I like the monthly Bernina specials too. Okay, that's a good thing to do too. So if people want to do it, I suggest that you do. I think that's a great idea. Oh, good, Teresa. Do you make the big bow tie differently? Some people do, but I wanted to do it the traditional manner because I wanted to show you guys how I top stitch things. Okay? Because I wanted to do that. So I actually machine top stitch that and it is so close to my edge that my hopping foot won't lift it. And I'm really excited about that. So that video will come up just as soon as I get approval on it, okay? So then I also bought bobbin thread. You got to have bobbin thread when you're doing embroidery. Now look at this, guys. This is my color house. Look at this. Mom, look at these colors. These are yours. You'll Well, not the green, but the other ones are. Look at Aren't they beautiful? To me, they kind of look like candy. I love them. Welcome, Lena. There you go. So these, I bought these embroidery colors. I have no idea what I'm going to make with them. But this was like fabric to me. It was just like gorgeous colors and I had to have it. Yep. So that's what the, um... 
No, Kim, I don't use the Bernina dealer down in Ithaca Watkins anymore. I use the one up in um, Woolcott, New York, because that one's closer to me. What the heck is bobbin thread? Bobbin thread is used um, at the base of um, as the bobbin thread whenever you're doing embroidery work. So that's that's what that is. And I want to do some more embroidery stuff. I did a little bit. I can show you. Hang on. I can show you what I did. Here I come. I'll show you what I did. This is in my notebook. So this is what I did when I went. Um, I did an outline embroidery that for quilting. So I did that. I don't know that you're going to be able to see it because the thread wasn't very dark. So there was that. And then I did, um, here, this is supposed to be lion, but I don't like the L. It just doesn't look right to me. So it's supposed to be lion. Then I did this one for Sarah. See? Little one that says Sarah. Yeah, it does kind of look like saltwater taffy. That, that does. I did one with my initials. I did an Olivia. Oh, Mr. Wilson's going to come see you guys. <laughs> he's in and he's going to actually come over and say hi. <laughs> he's something else, guys. Wait till you see that. Wait, here he comes. Are you coming all the way around? He's even coming all the way around, guys. You're going to really see him. Here we go. There's Mr. Wilson. A deer <laughs> might die today. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I'll see you after dark. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I did say Mike. Mike. Yeah. <laughs> say Will. Okay. Um. Okay. Hi, Mr. Wilson. Hello. Okay. Uh, uh. Yep, Mr. Wilson's in full hunting gear. He's on his way. <laughs> oh, yeah, Lynn, you're right. Yep, Mary, he's on his way. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> It's legal here, Vic. <laughs> um, yeah, he's crazy. He loves his afternoon hunting. Hi, Drama. It's been a while since I've seen you. Mm. He does have a very good sense of humor. Yep. So I did this one for Olivia. And then this is the one that I was playing on trying to learn how to line things up when they weren't the way I wanted them. So that was what I did at my embroidery class. I had a lot of fun. I learned a ton. Yeah. He didn't get the memo that Halloween's over. No, he didn't. Yeah. Oh, he did get some? Oh, that's wonderful, Carolyn. Yeah. Yeah, that's how my husband looks every winter at this time of year. It's his it's his Halloween costume. So I'm gonna make this into a little ditty bag for me. Just like a little um pencil bag type thing. Yep. Hi purple pl paisley planner. How are you? So 
that's what I did for my embroidery class. And then I got all of those pretty threads, and I'm very, very excited. This is my embroidery notebook, or my sewing machine notebook. I take and I make notes on one side, and then I staple what I did on the other side so that I can go back and look at it. So, and then here's my, um, there's my first block that I did to, for the um, edge foot. Because you should always do a test first. Good to do a test. So that's that. And then I just fold it back up and it just stays right here in my book so that when I go to do it again, I can just look it up. The air threader pressure lifter foot. Oh my gosh, tempted. Ooh. Um, traveling around the world, fashion designer, creative ideas. Okay. I think we've got lots of people in here today. Purple pa pla Paisley Planner. She must know people in here. So that's that. And then, I gotta see what time it is. So that I, and then all those threads. Oh my gosh, guys. You would not believe how tempted I was to keep buying those. Uh, having homemade cinnamon rolls. Oh. With cream cheese frosting. Wow. You need to go get the hoops and buddies to do hats. I made a ton for my husband to give to the dads of our grandsons. Oh, that's a good idea. Welcome. I love planners. I go nuts with planners. So, Purple, you and I need to talk. Yes, I do like the hand stitch foot. Hi, Bernadette. Welcome. So that's that. Then, now on to the other things I bought. I'm trying to get a couple projects planned for this winter. Well, before winter, actually. And one of the ones I got thinking about was, how many times do we take off and go to... Um, Lindsay likes that the edge foot for the same reason why I do. Um, okay, there is a science to embroidery. A lot to learn. I embroider with a baby lock, six needle, and it took a long time to be able to get the stitches even and basic. You know what? I didn't, I don't seem to have a problem with it. Oh, Sammy, I'm going to be terrible about it. Okay, Lynn, you answer that question. Good. Uh, hi, Vicki. Oh, learning how to do ruler work with rulers is a lot different than just sewing straight. But anyhow, I got to think in the, in the wintertime, we're always going to all different holiday parties. And we tend to do a couple of different dishes. One of them is my husband's chicken wing dip. And when we do the chicken wing dip, we have to have a dish that can be hot. And we also have to have a bowl to put the chips in for the chicken wing dip. So I bought this potluck luck pails pattern. And this is what I'm using to make the potluck pail. And I have to tell you guys, I am just in love with this thing. Look at this fabric. Look at that stripe. I'm going to use this for all the binding because it will give that barber pole look. So that's the bindings. And then this is probably going to be, I think, the outside of the bag. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah, Mary, I haven't had any either. This is called, the line is called Fantasy by Sally Kelly. And it is for Wyndham Fabrics. Isn't it gorgeous? So I think that's going to be for the bag. I think this is going to be for the handles. Let me get it open. Or the lining, one or the other. So there's the handles and the lining. Yeah. 
Yes, yeah. you did yell at me with joy when you saw it. That's it. Yes, you did. So, um, and then this is is just going to be a small accent fabric to it. And I can't decide if I'm going to make the oblong one or the pie one. What do you guys think I should do? Oblong or pie? Oh my God, it's beautiful in person. It is so bright, so vibrant. You're right, Linz. It's gorgeous in person. But I need to know what color you guys, which size I need to make, guys. I can't decide. Do I make the rectangular one or do I make the circular one? I can't decide. I'm putting them back together so you can Google them like I do or Google them. There. Aren't they beautiful? We need to decide so that Lindsay can um, so Lindsay can quilt it for me. You want me to make both? Oblong. Both. Both. Oblong. Okay. Good for the old blue or pin cushion. Okay. Oblong. Both. Holy cow, guys. You want both? All right. I'll make both. But aren't they gorgeous? I, I just, I just love them. I'm absolutely in love with all of them. So, as soon as Lindsay gets a break, she has to quilt this for me. All right, Linz, you up for it? I hope you are, because that's one of your next things. So, I'm going to make those. You have more oblong, Sherry? Okay. I didn't know. And they're not bad. The, um... The casserole carrier, which is oblong, takes a yard of each fabric. And the pie carrier takes um, two yards of fabric. So that's not that bad. I don't think it's bad. There's a mesh inner pocket. and Do you think I should do the inner pocket? I know. It's absolutely beautiful. I know. You know, I would love to get to the point in life where I could take a dish to pass in a beautiful dish and leave it as a hostess gift. I've always wanted to be rich enough to do that. I'm not. So I still can't. But I've always wanted to. I just always thought that was that was cool that was cool. Um yeah, they're whole bolts, fake. So they're 15 yard bolts. I, I figured they'd get lost at a party, but I would love to intentionally have them get lost at a party because to me, that's really fun. If you can only make one do the oblong, you think I'd make it, use it more? Okay. Always pockets? Okay, Kim. Because it does have the big one. He has a mesh pocket in it. I'm looking through the directions. Yeah, the big one has a mesh pocket. I'm trying to see where it is. It must be up in the top, but there is a mesh pocket, so I will make it with the mesh pocket. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'll make both of them and see. I thought it was time to get back into a couple of Annie's patterns. You know, it's kind of cool. She split them up into the, um, the pie one first. So this is the instructions for the pie. And this is the instructions for the casserole. Um, yes, Mary, they're from the same line. Yep, but aren't they gorgeous? I just love them. <laughs> both when you can't decide. Just get them both. <laughs> so I just love them. Maybe I'll do one of them in this color on the outside and this color on the other one on the outside. If it, okay. <laughs> yeah, I just really love it. Um, it does show utensils on it, Mary, but it really is a um, casserole carrier. Yes, by any running with scissors is all cut out. It's actually our next project. I'm starting it this week. It's all cut out, and you should see it. It's adorable. It's absolutely adorable. I love the fabric. 
Now you're hungry. I'm sorry, Brenda. Don't get hungry yet. You got hours to go. It's only 3.30 or 2.30. Yeah, running with scissors. My sister Sue came out and actually got it all cut out for me. So if I look at my schedule for next, whoops, for next week on um, Monday and Tuesday, I'm working on the block of the month. Then Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I'm working on running with scissors because it'll take me the three days. My sewing room gets really out of control. Can they be flipped inside out? I don't think so. Yes, you did quilt it a long time ago, Linz, but I haven't had a chance getting ready for the block of months. So, yeah, but that one's next on my list. So keep watching for it because it won't be long and that one will be up too. I meant the mesh pocket. Coils. I don't think they are. You could, I think the pockets, yes, I think the pockets are meant for utensils. But I think the pocket's a lot taller. The mesh piece that they tell you to get um, is 10 by 12 and a half. So it's, oh no, so it's 12 and a half. So that long. And 10 inches in this high. Okay. Oh, yeah. My, right now, I think every room in my house is out of control. I, it's really driving me crazy. Oh, that's a, that's an idea, Joanne. Um, Kimberly, yes. What's running with scissors besides dangerous? Um, where did I put the pattern? Hang on, I gotta find the pattern, guys. This is running with scissors, and this is coming up next. Um, right here. Oh, maybe for an extra pot holder. Yep. Look, that's running with scissors. Happy birthday. Oh, Vicki, happy birthday to your husband. Or freezer things. Yep, Joanne, that's right too. So this is running with scissors. My sister cut it out for me, so now I'm ready. It's on the pattern rack? Yeah, but this is my copy that I scratched on. Oh, Vicki, it's Suburban's son's birthday, too. 25 days. Shall we do a countdown to you guys on all the cool things that we're doing to get our houses under control? Oh. Uh, yeah, my house is a mess right now. But I got some things done this morning. I finally got my summer clothes moved, and that was a good thing. So this one's next, guys, which I'm excited for. Yep, my husband's birthday's not until the end of the month. So we got some time. Happy birthday, Tiff. Oh, don't you love it when your mom comes home and spends your birthday with you there? Yes, it would be good for paintbrushes. Absolutely, it would be perfect. Yes, Rolene. Yep. Yeah. What's Tucker doing? Tucker's making a lot of noise, guys. I'm sorry to keep bopping up. Tucker, what are you doing? Settle down. Yeah, tomorrow's the 4th. Will you... Yes, I will have kits, Julie, for running with scissors. Yes. I absolutely will. There'll be kits for those. Yes. 
I have piles all over the studio. My goal this week is Monday through Friday when I leave the studio at night to have tomorrow's project sitting on the cutting table and to have all the flat surfaces cleaned off. I hope I do. Congratulations, Tiffany. That's fantastic. What'd you do 30 years ago today, Suburban? So that's what I'm trying to do. That's my goal, is to have everything cleaned off at the end of the day. Everything put away before I walk out the door. We'll see. Yeah, my Mr. Wilson's out having fun. He works pretty hard. I think we're actually getting closer to him retiring, which makes me very happy. That's fantastic, Tiff. Congratulations. What quilt show, dear? My family often misses my birthday and they get burned out at Christmas. So much for January birthdays, yeah. Yeah, Kim, that happens to a lot of people. We have friends that their granddaughter was just born the day after Christmas last year. Two question mark. Um, yes, Faith, she won two. I'm not sure what quilt show, though. I haven't heard. Um, oh, yes. Labor and delivery. Yep, you were doing much better today. Yeah, that's exciting. So next week I'll start on November's so that at the end of the month, November's will be all, no, Linz, all flat surfaces clean can't happen in your world, but it needs to happen in mine because I can't take it a whole lot more. All the November birthdays. Yeah, I can't take the mess. It's driving me crazy. Try the, tw oh no, Lori, I wouldn't like the 24th of December either. <laughs> you were brand new pregnant 30 years ago. <sighs> oh, Tiff, that's wonderful. Yeah, December birthdays are overlooked. They're tough. They're really hard. Yeah. My girls are all May. All May. All of them, which is fantastic. It worked out great because they all get summer clothes for their birthday and winter clothes for Christmas. What was Gail? Off the, oh, sorry, I thought it was you, Lindsay. <laughs> Oh, Gail. Well, they throw him a birthday party this year. 24th of December is your mom's birthday. Oh, yeah, no. They, I, I like having the May birthdays for my kids. And I'm July, so. Teresa's a December 5th. I have a sister who's December 1st. Two weeks. Boone will be three. Oh my gosh, that little guy is so cute lately. He's just adorable. Except for the days that he comes in like a stormtrooper. So, those days I gotta watch him. He'll fall. 27th of December. My dad was the 30th of November. Yeah, it's just hard to have burn. And if you live up north, a winter birthday is just like, because there's nothing to do. Either everybody has to be able to downhill ski, or you've got to go to an inside place, or it just is so hard.
You have nine kids and grandkids whose birthdays are the week of Thanksgiving. Oh, Joanne, I feel bad for you. Oh. Oh. Oh, Fleur, say happy birthday to your mom for us. All days, kids tear up. What are you talking about, Linz? I missed something, Lindsay. Sponsor's choice and viewer's cho choice is what Tiffany won. Congratulations. That's true. Snowmobiling and sledding. But, you know, you got to have enough snow. Which there's some winners that it gets bad. Margaret, did you see my mini pulls? No, I didn't, Brenda. I'll look it up, okay, dear? I'm making a note. Oh, we've got a troll. Lindsay, we got a troll. One of my daughters is on December 14th. It was also my grandson's. We lost him. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's going to be a tough one. I'll have to look at it. Yeah, talk about feast or famine. My husband was a Thanksgiving baby. Yep. Lindsay, please let me know how surgeries goes with the baby. She will, believe me. Lion. Kelsey said hi, and she will... Send prayers. To, oh, good. Kylie said hi. Oh, fantastic. Um, that's going to be a tough one. All her children are coming. Oh, four brothers and wives and kids. Oh, that's wonderful. No, I did not get the troll. I just, somebody said there was a troll alert. Maybe Owen Worthy, but he's not speaking anymore. So as long as he doesn't talk, I'll leave him alone. Oh, Mary, holidays are always tough. Yeah, they are. Holidays are really hard when you've lost somebody. Um, Kimberly, there was a um, person that comes in. They Sometimes they come in and they just say, Really nasty things, and we just get rid of them. Yes, Kylie and Lion are pen peels. Lion tells me about them. Hello, Di Darlene. I haven't seen you before. Welcome. Oh, good, Lindsay. Yeah, because Boone's surgery is in just a couple weeks, and Lion's. School starts, baby. I was a summer baby. I was a summer baby. Yeah, Diane, um, somebody just popped in and asked what it was, and they haven't said another thing, so I'm thinking that they popped right back out again. Uh. Oh, Darlene, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm glad you're here, Diane, or Darlene, I'm sorry. This is a really friendly group, Diane, Darlene. If you have, hi, D Malone. If you guys haven't already joined our Facebook group, make sure that you do. It's a real friendly bunch of guys. Yes, I am going to sell kits to this too. Yep, I'll do all the kits. I'm a supper baby. Yeah, Mary, it's good to be a summer baby. I like to be a summer or a spring baby because spring babies know how to walk by the time the next year comes. Oh, the day before Thanksgiving you got married? Oh, Mary, you got two years before me you did. Vicki, have fun down in your quilt room. 
I'm still here. I got a few more minutes. And then I have to clean off surfaces. I got to put this stuff away. Then I got to go in the house and do laundry. Not fun. I do not want to do laundry today, but I need to. Uh, my husband and I will celebrate ours on Thanksgiving this year. Ooh, 27 years. Guys, I figured out the other day, my husband and I are going to be married for 40 years next year. That's a long time. How do you, I just, I can't believe it. I didn't think I'd be married for 40 years. <laughs> can't keep up with comments and typing before the past year. I have that problem too. Uh, uh, bye, Tiff. Have a good week. Yeah, please do join the Facebook group. It is a wonderful group. I, honestly, it amazes me how wonderful everybody is in there. Oh, I never got to have one either, Kim. Never. Never. Mm-mm. <gasps> she was walking her furniture by six months and running by seven? Holy cow. No, Suburban, they don't. They don't ever end. And I don't want to do them today, but I have to. Yes, you are getting old, Lindsay. Your mom and dad are going to be married for 40 years next year. Not long. Nine months away. I can't imagine, Kay, being at 50 years. I just cannot. I know. 40 years is amazing. Yep. I don't know what we'll do yet. We really would like to do an Alaskan cruise, but I don't know that we'll do it next year. Oh, drama. That's exciting. You're a 4th of July baby. That's exciting. We'll have to remember drama on July 4th. Oh, that's an idea, Mary. You celebrate the half birthday. Callie Jacobs, my, get this, my mother, my twins, and my grandson were all born on, July, on May 23rd, all of them. So I have four birthdays on the exact same day. Congratulations, Pam. Oh, Bernadette, congratulations. And Suzanne's 51 years. It does slip up, slip up in you big time. I've noticed that. You know, people used to say that when you're, when you're young, time seems to go forever. And then when you get old, it like goes really fast. I must be old because it goes really fast. Yeah. Oh, Mary's June 27th too. That's a good idea, Brenda, you guys, to do half birthdays. Margaret, it was running at months. She was fast. Wow. The Facebook group is very supportive, Faith. You're right. Congratulations, Joanne. She's got a 34th wedding anniversary coming up. My friend has two kids. Nine years apart, they were born on the same day. Wow. That's cool. I was I was in I was in shock that I had the twins on my mother's birthday. I truly was. I never expected that I would have them that day. I interrupted her dinner. She never got to have dinner that night. It wasn't very nice of me. Mm -hmm. 
This fabric, Lisa, is for potluck pails. I'm going to make this, and then I'm going to make a um, bowl to go with it for, like, chips and dip stuff for the holidays. I love the fabric. I love the fabric for the block of the month. Yes. So, yep, that's what that's for. It's for potluck pals. Um, we have to do half birthdays for my daughter-in-law's birthday is Halloween. Yeah. That's right. It is all about the kids. Nine months. Stupid, stupid spell check. Spell check it drives me crazy some days. I don't do very good. I, I'm forever spelling things wrong. Ooh, Kathy, December 15th, 30-year anniversary. My best friend got married December 10th. She always wanted a Christmas wedding, so she got one, which I thought was cool. We should all get Christmas weddings. When was what due? My twins? My twins were due on June something. I forget now. June, like around the 10th, the middle of June. They were worth it, Mom. I'm glad that's true. I haven't, Marla, seen much of... Of Annie's new stuff. Yeah, I should see it this week, I think. So th they were like three weeks early. So June 10th, June 12th, something like that they were due. And they were three weeks early. Which was fantastic. They were both six pounds. They were huge babies for twins. They were both six pounds. 48 this November. Ooh, July 24th, 10 days after my birthday, Darlene. Aw, Diane, you're creeping up on 30 years married. That's cool. Yep, you were three weeks early. That was it. Yep. Ooh, Allison. Welcome, Allison. I don't think I've seen you before. Maybe I have, but I don't remember. Celebrating 36 years on Tuesday. Yeah, it is awesome for twins. It is absolutely awesome for twins. Yeah, I did really good. Six pounds is huge for twins. Yeah. Tracy was a six-pound baby. Six pounds 11 ounces or six pounds 14 ounces. Six pounds, 11 ounces. And the twins were both six. And they were both 19 and a half inches long. My first two babies were two weeks early. So when my son was on, <laughs> so when my third was on time, she was late. Yeah. <laughs> Kimberly, that's fantastic. Celebrate it. Yeah, twins are usually underweight, but mine weren't. Yep. Mine definitely were not. Identical, Mary. Identical girls. 0.99875, genetically identical. They were identical. They had, um, they were two sacks and two placentas, but they split upon conception. So... Um, they were identical twins. We had genetic testing done because one of them's got a crap kidney. Always had unbirthdays for my seven grandchildren so we could have summer picnics. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Yes, better three than eight and a half, Sammy. You're right. She weighed only four pounds. Oh, bless your heart. Yeah, wow, Teresa, you were a tiny little thing. Oh, good going, Nancy. Six, six, and six, eight. Your mom did even better than me. 
6 pounds 10 ounces and 7 pounds 11 ounces. Holy cow, Allison. <laughs> oh, Darlene, fraternal grandbabies. 19 months old, boy, girl, 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 what are they? No, the twins were second. Tracy was first. And then came the twins. Tracy was first. And then my twins. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Kimberly triplets. Oh, I know what twins was like. I can't imagine triplets. But you do it. Right? Yes, Boone was a big boy. He was very big. He was almost nine pounds. Wow. 3.2 ounces, Faith. <gasps> one boy and one girl. Aw, congratulations, Darlene. 19 months old. That's so exciting. Oh. Email it to me, Allison. Margaret at Miss Marker Squilts. I was quite large. I remember how big I was. I was huge. My my husband very sweetly commented on it a couple of times. I can't imagine having three. Uh, I just can't. I mean, she had three more pounds worth of baby than me. Oh, wow, Sherry. That's a big baby. Yeah. Yep. Boone was big. He was a big boy, Teresa. He still is. It's getting to the point that it's getting tough for me to pick him up just because he is so solid. Have a good week, Gail. I got to run, too. I got to clean off my surfaces because that was my goal. They won't be perfect, but they'll look better than they do right now. And then I got to go do laundry. Ugh. I wish... Yeah, I, laundry just is not my bag, guys. But you got to do it. Yay! I'm so excited that he's almost totally back on. <laughs> Teresa, I think my mother did that too with the last one. Mom, how big was Paul? I don't remember. I just remember he was big. Oh, lots of big babies in that family. Yes, please don't forget the thumbs up, guys, okay? He is a hunk of chunk. Um, don't forget, thumbs up on your way out. If you're not part of the Facebook group, please do come over and join us. We have an awful lot of fun there, and it's a very, very kind in giving group of people. They are just wonderful. So come join us. This week, don't forget, the next block for the springtime sampler will be up, okay? Bye, everybody. Looking forward to the tutorials. It won't be long, guys, because I should have the next one up as soon as Bernina approves it, okay? I will see you guys soon. Bye.